one that you are right now, where you're at right now. And then eight, keeper. Nine, nosy. Ten, fulfilled. Eleven, loving. Twelve, victim. Thirteen, perfectionist. Fourteen, contained. Fifteen, liberated. Sixteen, untrustworthy. Seventeen, gullible. Eighteen, narcissist. Nineteen, happy. Twenty, celebratory. Twenty-one, cautious. Twenty-two, angry. Twenty-three, inert. Twenty-four, <coughs> proper. Twenty-five, creative. <coughs> Twenty-six, dependable. It's only myself when I talk to you a little bit. <laughs> my desire for the day is to successfully explain myself when I'm talking to you slightly later in the afternoon. <laughs> you missed out on my favourite answer. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> when I look at the sky at night, I see the moon shining through the skylight and roll over gently and say a small prayer about how lucky I am. <laughs> wow, that's dot, dot. fast writing. <laughs> You had a long run for number one. Yeah. <laughs> Six. At times I wish I could. At times I wish I could lengthen my times of silence. And my desire for the day is? My desire for the day is to share with Dominique some of our process and get some work up. Thank you. He's clowning or falling to make others laugh. Thirteen. The best experience for my audience, viewer, reader, stroke, watcher is when... The best experience for my viewer, stroke, watcher, stroke, reader is when I let go of control and just go with what's happening. And my desire for the day? My desire for the day is to be as open as possible, taking everything I can, and that hopefully I will learn something new. Thank you. When my father saw me trying, Number five. When my father saw me trying, it was just another day. My desire for the day is to... At times I wish I could turn my brain off. Number nine. People like my work because... People like my work because I play with humour, but they're shocked. Yeah, the unexpected. All right, they can relate to me. My desire for the day is to be stimulated and have charity. Number seven. I could be happy if only... If I wasn't eating. Can you say the whole thing? <laughs> um, I, I could be happy. I, I could be happy uh, if I wasn't eating. <laughs> um, uh, my... I... No, where am I? Yes, my ideal collaborators would always... What's the number? Oh, sorry, that is number 10. My ideal... Collaborators. My ideal collaborators are... Would always... Would always be those who push me into a challenging place. Push me into push a challenging place. Right. Uh, share my love with you all. Say it all together. Uh, my nice. desire for the day is share my love with you all. Very nice. The minimum I need to do my work is space and people and time. <laughs> my desire for the day is My desire for the day is to have fun and make things happen with others. And number one, when I look at the sky at night. When I look at the sky at night, I see infinity and a huge limitless universe. I see infinity, infinity and a huge limitless universe. Uh, number seven, I could be happy if only. Number seven, but I could be happy if only but I am happy. And number fourteen, my desire for the day. My desire for the day is to unleash my creativity. Number twelve, in my vision for art, it's necessary to kill. In my vision for art, it's necessary to kill waste of time. And number 14, my desire for the day is? My desire for the day is uh, to experiment with uh, the most basic smartphone app. Yes. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> Great. But we're going to start without doing that two minutes. I'm going to give you two minutes just to meditate on the project. Only to meditate without writing. Go through it in your head, think around it, think underneath it, think on top of it, think next to it, think where it came from, where it's going. Just give it the 3D-ness in your head. Um, sometimes when we just sit on projects, they get flattened. So I just kind of want you to imagine that you're more dimensions. So your moment to meditate on the project starts now. Two minutes.